Hey guys, Chris with Mayhem Photo and Video. Today I'm going to show you not only how to get the logs off of the Solo or the controller, but some really cool things that you can do with them once you've got them downloaded. Let's get started. Please make sure you've got these three programs installed on your computer before continuing. Here we go. First, you're going to want to connect to your Solo Link Wi Fi on your PC. I'll put the information in this text file in the description below. You're going to want to fire up WinSCP. The file protocol that we're going to use is going to be SCP. The host name depends on what you're trying to connect to. Unless you've had a flyaway and only have your controller, you're going to want to connect to the solo. You can leave port 22 as it is. The username is root and the password I will put in the description. It is case sensitive. If you have a dialog pop up, just click yes. The panel on the right is what's actually on the solo. The panel on the left is your computer. I'm opening up the folder on the left hand side that I want to transfer the logs to. I clicked the up arrow twice which showed me all the folders on the solo and then clicked the log folder. The files we are looking for are labeled Recent Bin. They look like links and they have a file size of one kilobyte, but once you transfer them, the actual sizes will show. Once these files transfer, you'll have the 10 most recent flight logs from the Solo on your computer. Let's say you have the unfortunate circumstance of a flyaway situation and you don't have your Solo and only have your controller. You can connect to the controller in almost the exact same way that you connected to the Solo by using the different host name. All of the other information is the same. This time I was smart enough to save the connection to the controller for later use. Once connected, I'll click the up arrow two times, which reveals all the folders, go to the log folder, but this time we are looking for the solo T logs. Someone smarter than myself will have to explain the difference between these two at a later date. Once the files are transferred, I'll show you what you can do with them, and it's really kind of neat. You can close WinSCP and reconnect to your home Wi-Fi and open up Mission Planner. Once in Mission Planner, you're going to want to go to Data Flash Logs. Next, click Receive a Log. Open the bin file of the flight you want to view. Once the log file loads, there's literally countless pieces of information for you to view. For a quick example, I'm going to show you the current drawn off the battery compared to the throttle during this flight. If you zoom in too far, right click and set scale to default. Clicking show map overlays your flight plan onto a Google Maps satellite view. Double clicking on any portion of your flight will actually show you where your quad was at that point. 
There's an absolute wealth of information inside of the logs. This is just one example of what you can use them for. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare your log files to be opened in Google Earth. Close the log browser screen. Click on Create KML plus GPX. Open the bin file that you want to use. I don't see any on-screen dialog letting me know anything is happening, but if I open my logs file, the new files just start appearing. Once the GPX file is saved, open up Google Earth. Once Google Earth is loaded, go to the Tools menu and click GPS. Click Import from File. Unclick Adjust Altitudes to Ground Height. Click Import. Select the file that you just created. Click OK and watch the magic happen. With this feature, you can explore your flight in a 3D space. If you want to play your flight back, click on the settings icon, adjust the speed that you want it to play, I chose to loop the animation, reset your flight back to the start, and click the toggle time slider animation button. Here is another example, but this time I forgot to uncheck the button for the altitudes. It placed all my waypoints on the ground, but I could still see my flight path. If you ever accidentally zoom too far in, the exit ground view button is in the top right of your screen. As always, if this video helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and share. Have a great day.